Okay, um, first of all, can you introduce yourself for me, please? Yeah, I'm Anne Harkin, and I'm the coordinator of the Recovery Toolkit Programme for Children working in the West Midlands. Okay. I'm Asha, I'm the founder of Innovative Minds. Uh, I'm trained as a clinical psychologist, and we provide special support, special psychological support for young people in education and training. We work from an early intervention ethos, so we're all about supporting young people's mental health and emotional well-being. So, that's it. So, what sort of you, you do this work yourselves, but also what sort of organisations or people do you work with then, if you're interested in early intervention? Yep. So, uh, we work within schools. Uh, so, we create whole school approach into emotional health and mental health, and that's working with young people, families, and the staff working within schools. We also work with a local charity. Uh, the Freedom Project, mm -hmm. and we support young people who've witnessed or experienced domestic abuse. Okay. Um, and we also work with. <laughs> Sorry. We're Thank you for this. Yeah. So tell me more about what you're involved so in. So I'm coordinating the first ever recovery toolkit program for children in the West Midlands, and the idea being that the current level of help for mums has never really included children before. So we found that mums have often reached a, a situation where they've recovered, they're moving forward, and their children are not. So this idea of healing together means they've both got the same language, they're both speaking off the same sheet, and uh, we found that that then consolidates everything that they're learning together and just moves them forward, which has been very beneficial. So how would that work? Does that, do you, do the mums and the children work together or do they work separately or do they a bit of both? They work separately. So mums program is currently 12 weeks. The children's program is eight. So the children start four weeks into the mums program. So they've already got some idea of the sorts of things that we'll be covering within the eight week program for children. Um, and so that's then beneficial because they've already started that healing process and can support their children to do the same. Whenever you come to something like this, you maybe have in mind what it is you'd like to get out of it, and obviously mm. you can meet people and learn new stuff, but is there, for you to be able to do more, everybody wants more funding, mm -hmm. but is there, are there more new relationships you want? What sort of people do you want to work with or meet? Uh, so we're looking uh, for referrals. So already after our session two of our pilot group, we have a waiting list of 10, 20 children uh, that want to attend the group. So we're looking at ways that we can access more community space. So we're looking at space that we can uh, run our groups from mm -hmm. and also a base that we need uh, for our volunteers. We're also looking for more volunteers uh, to support Anne and her colleague to deliver the programme. Uh, we're looking for young people as well that are in maybe still in education themselves so that they can uh, support their younger generations. Brilliant. Mm. Lovely, thank you both. And... Oh, no, not, not yet, go well, on. And we need to get the word out there what we're actually doing. So today is about telling everybody what we've done so far, having an evaluation of the programme to date, and just getting the word out there that it's actually making a huge difference in the lives of these families that we've been working with. Thank you both. You're welcome.